what is going on YouTube? I'm Phil. Guys, hey, thanks for joining me once again. Uh, I'm going to see how much light I've got because the sun is going down, so apologies for the light. Um, it is nearly 8 o'clock at night here, and yeah, we've still got some sunshine. We're getting into the, the warmer months, even though it has been absolutely fucking cold and pissing down. But uh, anyway, we got, I wanted to talk to you guys about making money and investments, yeah? And the whole, uh, whatever I thought about investments and making money has been absolutely turned on its head in the last few years. Like I've just been doing the whole investment thesis from, uh, I've been essentially getting the playbook from uh, people around me, close people around me, my parents and stuff like that. And I absolutely love them to death. They did the best that they could with what they knew, yeah? And I was lucky enough to grow up in a time when we weren't, uh, there was no internet and all that kind of stuff. So pretty much is you go to work, you get a job, you get a house, uh, you work, you save up some money, and you just hope that you have money there when you retire, you know what I mean? And that's all good, yeah, but when the internet came, you know, the possibilities are absolutely endless, guys, you know what I mean? It's just... It's endless, guys, like, you know, what you can do now. And we're starting to see the potential of what you can do now, which has been, it's like been 30 years, you know, to like, <laughs> of like how it's been evolving and stuff like that. And we've come to this point where you can work absolutely anywhere, you can do anything, uh, and you can, <laughs> you can pretty much work from wherever you want, you know what I mean? You don't need to be in a specific location. Now, what is confusing people like and uh, where we kind of get led into things is that there's a whole culture here in Australia where they push you to, to go by this old school mentality to save up for a deposit. Like for anyone that doesn't know, like investing here, right? You, in like medium house price is nearly a million dollars. So you need 20, 20% here just to avoid mortgage lenders insurance. So straight off the bat, you need 200 grand. So 200 Aussie, which is about 140 US. Like how the fuck are you gonna save that? You know what I mean? With the cost of living, and then it's like rents, like yeah, epic amount of money or whatever. The playbook doesn't fit, yeah. And let's ping this back, yeah. Like so, let's before we even talk investments, I want to do a brief introduction to what money is, yeah. Money is potent. That is energy. That is value that has been created from one person uh, and given to another. You know what I mean? Like through a value exchange. You know what I mean? Through a goods or service or pro product anything guys you know what i mean so that's what money is yeah no, like pretty much energy now we need to create value to get this money you know what i mean for your business and that business has subcontracted out work from someone else or whatever and they get money from government agencies and then who does the government agency get it from the people that actually make the money which is central banks they essentially make money out of thin air so this is the scam guys yeah we go and create value for at work, yeah, for 40, 60, 70 hours a week. Then we get taxed on it, right? Uh, and then, then we get taxed on it. So that gets taken from us because, you know, just for whatever goods and services and living and all this kind of stuff, roads and infrastructure, okay, fair enough. And then the, they print that much money, then more money gets created in circulation, hence lifting the cost of living uh, like up even ever, like even more and and like making it where things just keep going up and up and up and you get taxed 40 percent then you've got to kind of keep up with everything and now we need to go and create value for that they just created out of thin air they bypassed the whole creating value part for it they just literally went on a computer screen bang that made like printed a trillion dollars you know what i mean and not only that, then they give you the old school mentality of that you need to save for a rainy day fund and, and all this kind of stuff. But inflation is up like 10 to 15% a year, like year on year, your rent's going up five, about 5%, five, 10%, and then the petrol, then the food or whatever. So, but they're telling you to save because they want you to buy a house or whatever. Now, there's a few problems that I have with this, guys. Now, if you're a young man watching this, I'm telling you, I promise you guys that getting in a million dollars worth of debt and buying a house and saving all this deposit or whatever for something that could potentially happen in 20 or 30 years. I don't know if that's the right call, guys. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying that not to do it. I'm just telling you guys that there are people that literally their dreams go down the toilet, you know what I mean? And they are stuck somewhere geographically, you know what I mean? For 30 years to potentially get a payoff if they don't get rinsed out by someone, you know, through a relationship or whatever. That is a big risk, guys. Now that's a big call. I don't know. I don't know if I don't know if I'm willing to make it, but that is an absolute big call. Yeah. 
so that that is totally up to you so like it doesn't compute guys you know like the whole system the whole formula and everything like that it never really sat well with me the way that i think about it it's like why the fuck would i get in a shitload of debt to buy a house up shit creek where i've got to travel in for two hours to go this to a job that i don't hate or whatever so the answer was i'm not fucking buying it you know what i mean I already did buy it when I was younger because I did it with a mate to go build something. I instantly regretted, re regretted it, you know what I mean? And I had to get out. I sold my portion of it and then that's when I bought into digital assets and stuff like that, which is what I'll go through a little bit later, guys. But yeah, there's an old school system and mentality and people be and they'll preach it to you. Oh, you need to do this. You need to settle down. You need to go buy this or whatever. Why? Because it justifies the decision that they've made in their life. And the chances are is that the people that have given you this decision and stuff like that, they're still paycheck to paycheck, guys. Like they are struggling. They're still working till they're 65 and doing whatever. Like there's nothing wrong with that, guys. But I'm saying that if you want to live abundantly, you're going to have to go buy a different set of blueprints, a, a different set of everything, you know? So... Yeah, like it just like there's the old school method like that, you know, like working hard and doing all this kind of stuff for years and years and years. And there's nothing wrong with that. And guys, I'm telling you, I'm just starting to work hard. And when I start with these investments that I'm about to talk to you, I'm going to probably even work harder than what I'm working right now. So I'm not saying that this is the easiest part, easier path, but it is the path to financial freedom. You just got to think of it like this. If everyone's doing the same thing, do you think that you're going to get the same result? Like that person down the road is telling you to buy this apartment or buy this house or go here or look at this area, you need to really be honest and go, do I want to be like this fucking person? If so, listen to that person. Listen, listen to everything that they need to say, yeah? If not, don't listen to them. I mean it, guys. I'm telling you guys, you're going to throw a lot of money down the toilet. You're just going to fucking... You're going to lose a lot of years of your life, yeah? Listening to the wrong people, Yeah. So yeah, there's not a few things left that are, that are, that's hard money, that is, you know, finite, that is immutable, that can't be censored, um, that is literally like digital gold, the internet of money, you know what I mean? As money is evolving, there's a few things. And one thing is cryptocurrency, guys, digital assets, like Bitcoin and Ethereum particularly. Everything else is literally a gamble, guys. Even though you think it will go up, like that is the only thing that is literally geared and institutions are buying right now. Right now. I'm not saying that, like, I know there's going to be others, yeah? I'm just saying right now. That's the only ones that are, <laughs> that are literally finite, that tick every single box and like in every single way, you know what I mean? So you could buy houses, yeah, fair enough, okay? So, but that's a 30 year game, gameplay, and that's a little bit, there's a little bit of risk there. Then you go, all right, well, I could buy um, precious metals. Okay, well, when it really kicks off and you know, need to go get your gold in that armed facility and you really need it, do you think they're just gonna give it to you, all the armed guards? Do you reckon you're gonna be able to access it? Or, and then what, you're gonna hide it in your house and stuff like that? And what, when it really kicks off, what, you're gonna give someone a block of gold for a fucking goat or something like that? I don't know, it's just not, not practical. There's fine art, but that's a pain in the ass to store. You gotta make sure it doesn't get destroyed and all this kind of stuff. And then you gotta find a buyer for it. You know, I mean, who's gonna buy art? Like when it really gets, like when really things really kick off, is it really valuable? Then watches, yeah, fair enough. Like, you know, watches is always mad, you know what I mean? Awesome, you know what I mean? And it can be used to like pawn off quickly and get money and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, fair enough, I can see it happening, but like it's not that practical. So it really comes down to like digital assets. That is the best form of investment curry. It's the best performing asset class ever. It's digital, finite, it's immutable. The only thing that, <laughs> that you know, it can't be censored by government, all that kind of stuff. The only thing that is wrong with it is if the internet goes out, like you're fucked, it's, not, it's in thin air, you know what I mean? It's up in the cloud. But my, my argument is, is that they'll never switch off the internet. So like, it's as good as gold, you know what I mean? So the internet will always be around. So guys, it's a, I've explained kind of where money comes from, uh, in the old school investment thesis, what I've grown up with, kind of where, where, I've, where I've sat with it, like, and what I've thought about it. And then I'm just like, all right, well, what do I need to invest in then? You know what I mean? Because the television, that's why the TV stays off, guys. Like I never t keep the TV on because, <laughs> guys, it never tells you how to get rich. You need to fucking turn that thing off ASAP. It always tells you how to consume, who got married here, who's wearing these clothes or whatever, who's at the Grammys, who gives a fuck, bro? You're still broke, you know what I mean? Why are you watching it, you know what I mean? You should not be watching it. Don't watch it, seriously, guys. It pisses me off, you know what I mean? Like, stop stop watching fantasy TV shows or people playing sport. It's the way that you stay broke. I'm sorry, but it's, it's honest to God truth. So, 
this is where I'm investing, guys. I'm not saying that this is the like this is the place where you should. But this is as sure as fuck. This is where I'm investing all my time, energy, attention, money, resources, everything. This the, everything. This is this is it right here. Okay. So, mentors. I've spent thousands of dollars on mentors, and I will be spending more soon uh, on more because I don't. You don't know what you don't know, and people that are living this life of where they can get up at any, not, not any time, but they can get up and just go somewhere at 11 o'clock in the morning. I mean, they're not governed by anything. They don't have to ask anyone permission to go on a holiday. They don't have to ask anyone permission to go do this or whatever. Having that kind of life set up, I'm listening to people like that. And more, more often than not, they're working online and they are, they're helping people. They're providing value to people, which is what I'll go through in soon. But like, actually I'll talk about it right now. They are providing people, helping people, solving problems, um, they're giving value, they're entertaining them, they're leaving a positive impact in the world. I'm getting in touch with people like that because that is what I want to do. That is why this YouTube channel exists. It's a personal diary and I want to help you guys the way that I've helped myself, all right? It's very important. I need to pass this forward. I made a lot of mistakes, guys, and I don't want you guys to make these mistakes. It, 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 seriously, I don't want you to make these mistakes, yeah? So investing in, um, in mentors is very, very powerful and will save you time. It just saves you the time. Why fucking make the mistakes and try and learn it for years and years and years when you can just literally learn it in a shortcut of time? You know what I mean? You pay the correct people the right amount of money and you get the information that you need, yeah? Just get the information you need and you sh shortcut it. That is worth something. How much is your time worth? How much are years of your life worth? You know what I mean? It's very much worth it, guys, and you should always invest in people that are doing a lot better than you and that they like they know they know stuff, all right? That goes into my next point, networks, yeah? The, those people that you look up to that are connected, that have like killed or whatever, don't you think that they talk to other people that they network with other people? Sure as fuck they do, you know what I mean? Your network is your net worth, guys. I'm telling you, the amount of... <laughs> guys, the last three jobs that I've even walked into, it's just been a phone call, guys. It's been done over a handshake. There's no resume. Why? Because it's in power of networks. Oh, this guy put no... This guy, oh, get Phil here. I've worked with him. He's over there. He's a sick cunt. Got good energy. Works hard. Bang, get him over here. We need him here ASAP. Go sell myself face to face. Bang, got, got the job. Got to get into a club that were like back in the day. Like I used to know go out heaps. I used to do all the clubbing, whatever. That that was like, bro. I you know this person, this person. Bang, 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 bang. You have awesome, better experiences, guys. It's purely through, you know, networking and stuff like that. It's super, super important. Yeah, you never should stop networking. You know, what I mean, in any stage of life. Maybe you're in construction now. Maybe you, then you go into the office. You need a network. Maybe you need to get into online. Then you need a network. Maybe you move into another city. You need a network. It is super important. We want to be around other people, guys. It is super important. So why not build proper connections? You know what I mean? And networks. It's I can't understand. I can't understate that. You know, personal development is development is another thing that I am investing in heaps, in getting the best possible version of myself, getting as fit as I can, uh, the best person that I can speak on camera, being the best person that. Uh, whenever I walk into a room, I just like, you know, I have that energy about me because I've done the work, you know what I mean? Keeping my word to myself, that is a pro like that is an epic promise. And I invest my time, energy, effort, resources in that time where I have to get up into the gym, then I need to do grooming, then I need to have good life experiences, so I want to travel, then I need to learn stuff and I get mentors or whatever. This all costs money, guys, but it's the best possible investment you'll make. And I'll, the reason why is because then you can start your own personal brand. You can teach people what you've learned, you know? You can be the teacher, guys, you know? Help people, because once you've helped yourself, what is better? Helping other people, that's why men, you know, that's why we have families, or females love having families, whatever, they pass everything on, you know what I mean? What they've learned, it is super, super important, guys. Cannot understate that, you know what I mean? Personal brand is everything. There is no limit. When you go into work, you work 40 hours or 50 hours. That's it. You create value there. Then it stops. Personal brand. I can make. I can. I can. <laughs> I can do this right now. Uh, at seven, eight o'clock in the in the in the evening. Like I can go network with people in my own time. I can go do this at any hour. At any hour, the sky is the limit. I can make a YouTube channel. I can do Instagram. I can get uh, presence on Instagram. I can do Snapchat. I can do. Uh, LinkedIn, I can do all these ads, I can do <laughs> anything guys, and I can make a personal brand. So anything that I've gone through, even the worse, the better. Like I've spoken about this in other videos. Your superpower is like 
like your like your biggest issue that you've ever a hurdle that you've ever overcome in life that is your superpower you can teach people that if you've been on drugs if you're a degenerate gambler if you fully fucked up your life and come back from it that is incredible if people don't do that you know that is a skill you've learned something there you've gone through a life experience you can pass that on and teach and create a brand someone might resonate with you a lot of people might not look at me and go you know what fuck this Phil cunt but other people will resonate with me and go no nah, no nah, fuck fuck yeah, fuck with Phil, he's a good cunt, you know, it is what it is, making a personal brand is so super important, and I left a lot off the table, guys, by not working on Instagram, if you notice, I work on my Instagram flat out, and I work on YouTube, guys, I never fucking miss, because I understand the power of helping people at scale, let me talk about that with scale, with personal uh, branding as well, I can put out this video, and this can reach hundreds of people, rather than me talking to 500 separate people, you know what I mean? You can give value. I can solve problems for people. You might be at home thinking, oh, I need help with this or whatever, with money investments. What do I invest in? Invest in yourself. It's the best investment you'll ever make. Get yourself the most next level version, most shredded, most like, like best person, like, you know, biggest network, most money, like everything healthy, the, the whole healthiest person. Get yourself right in that way, yeah? Experiences. I'm going to invest in experiences. That's why I'm going to be traveling next year. It's important, guys, because it gives you perspective. It enables you to appreciate your life. It enables you to uh, live in the moment, to have new experiences. Success. That's what it's about, guys. When you do the old school mentality and you buy these things that bunker you down and you can't do anything, you miss out on all that stuff. What, you're going to enjoy it at 60? Are you? Are you really? I don't fucking... Like, I think you enjoy it a lot more now than you bought at 60. But you'll get a pat on the back, you know what I mean? And that's if all the market conditions are right and you haven't been fucking cleaned out by someone else, you know? It's a massive risk to take, guys, you know? Massive. It's something to think about, yeah? And then, yeah, like, social media platforms, which is what I discussed about. It is super, super important, guys. Um, I can't understate the the power of working on a personal brand and being on all platforms, being visible and helping people, problem-solving, and just giving off good energy, guys. It's it's um, in, in, this, in this digital age that we're at. Everything's done on a phone, guys, you know what I mean? So we need to be savvy about it. We need to learn to see. I, I grew up without the internet, but now I'm trying to figure all this shit out. This might come... So this is a thing, like we've all got different advantages or whatever, like kids, they, they understand technology through the back of their head, but they, a lot of them are so scattered, they can't, a lot of them are so scattered, they can't stick to anything, you know what I mean? Because they don't have the work ethic, because their brain's fried, you know what I mean? But then, you know, and they've got time, but I've got the experience, so I can go and get there quicker, because I can just dial in quicker, you know? And do things like that, you know, so I can concentrate more on that, like, I don't know, like, there's different trade-offs, right, guys, we always got different advantages and disadvantages, so don't think that you're that disadvantaged, if you want to do something, if you're that pissed off, you can change your life, you know, uh, and yeah, we just need a different, we need to throw out a different playbook, yeah, and um, only because we get told, oh, we need to work hard or whatever, like, but in truth be told is that we just need to affect the most people that we can, you know what I mean? In a positive way. We just need to think about things like, how can I solve problems? How can I be there for people? How can I make people's life easier? And how can I affect them in a positive way and give them a fucking awesome feeling when, when I'm not with them, you know what I mean? And when they think about me. That's all that I'm focused on, guys. Those points before, uh, you know, as well as having a positive impact and entertaining people, if you can do that, you're going to be set for life, guys. That is where you should be investing in. That is where I'm investing all my time, energy, attention, and effort. Obviously, I've got crypto, guys. You know that I'm invested in it. And it's, guys, it's going to it's gonna go crazy. You know what I mean? Super pumped for it. And I can be mobile. And you can move around. You can do things or whatever. Why do you think I'm so fucking positive? Why do you think that I'm so like, I think next year is going to be awesome? Because we're taking the steps every single day to work on these things that I've just discussed, yeah? And it makes me super happy and proud, yeah? That I haven't missed, you know what I mean? That I've kept my word to myself. That I'm investing all my time, energy, and effort. These are the investments that I'm making on a daily basis. Before work and after work. That's why I can look you in the camera with this energy and just to look you hand on heart that I'm fucking trying, you know what I mean? I'm turning up every single day. I'm doing exactly what I say that I'm going to do. For you guys, you know? And you can do it too, guys. You just need to make that decision not go with the old school mentality, realize that it's a new digital age, and realize that 
you know, it's a different playbook because if you're at your job right now and it sucks and you hate your life, and you're in debt and you're massively like doing things and you think that it doesn't matter or whatever, it is wrong because your conscience is telling you that. You're going to get to the end of your life and you're going to go, what the fuck? Why was I doing this and following this other blueprint? I'm here telling you that there's another way. I've done it for 16 years. I haven't done it for as long as some other people, but I've fucking done it. I'm telling you through experience that I've been there. I've done all the things that are, that are supposed to tick and like make you feel warm and fuzzy inside, you know? And like that you've been complete. The only thing is, you know, procreation, having a family, which I'm going to be sorting out. But yeah, guys, I just, uh, it's super important. Uh, I just wanted to give you a background of like everything and my thoughts on money and investments. And this is exactly what I'm doing. That's, this is my investment thesis for 2025 onwards. Guys, it's been a long day. I've been up since three o'clock. It's like eight o'clock. I'm still going, but got all the energy for you guys. You guys keep me going. I really, really appreciate your support from the bottom of my heart. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, thanks for your support, guys. And uh, I love you. I'll chat to you. Ciao.